wow. Artemis Fowl had like a 3.9 on IMDb. I started, started, I hit record, then I was like, I don't know if I'm really ready. I just like pulled up IMDb, 3.9. Yikes. I, don't, I haven't checked critic scores yet. I'm afraid to check Rotten Tomatoes. Should I do it, you guys? I'm like, I'm going to do it. 10%. Yikes. That's bad. Oh my gosh, that's really bad. Everybody, welcome to Film Fireside. Artemis Fowl dropped on Disney Plus on Friday, and I tried watching it. And the movie, like, dis I I was so distracted watching this movie. I'm not gonna lie. I I just felt so uninterested by this movie for some reason. And I want to attribute that to the fact that I just haven't really read the books. I'm sure the books did it much better. In fact, a lot of the hate for this movie from what I understand is that it just does the books a huge disservice. But I haven't read a book willingly since the last Harry Potter book came out. A book of fiction, willingly anyway. See, I say that and maybe the book literally fixes this very issue that I have. But I feel like this is just a problem with just the story of Artemis Fowl. I just felt so like, oh. Okay. Hmm. There's fair... All right, what ifs? I don't know if it's as bad as everyone says it is, but it's not great. It's not great. A lot of the, like, the action sequences specifically are just so, like, choppy and just terribly shot. It just looks so odd and bizarre. I didn't know what I was looking at, really, and it just felt really, really fake. I get really annoyed with Kenneth Branagh whenever he directs a movie because I know he knows better. <laughs> I don't know what. He is a good... Actor, he is a damn good actor. He has, he has to know better than like what's happening here. Now, granted, I don't know. This is Disney, so I don't know. Maybe he didn't have as much creative control. But like the other thing that annoys me about this is I thought he nailed the Cinderella remake. I was even like okay with Murder on the Orient Express. Even with that film, I was like, there are things in this movie that I don't know why he's doing this. And very much so, very much so with Artemis Fowl. I just didn't understand like what was going on. And a lot of that was within the writing and maybe even directing because the actors say lines that are just so like surface level without any like emotional depth or meaning. If like Siri was trying to explain the plot, that's how lines are given in Artemis Fowl. And then even, I, I felt this way a little bit about Murder on the Orient Express too. It's just kind of like, I will tell you everything about me right now. It's just so you're not confused. Talk, 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 explain, explain, explain. And I think what's annoying is they, it presented in ways that I think like some people are like, oh, but we're being kind of subtle about it. But it's not when when someone's like, you know that that's going to hurt humans, right? The little, what is that thing called? The mat, the little pyramid thing they had. You know that thing kills humans, don't you? Audience is like, what? Kills humans? Oh my goodness. I did not know that. I th maybe I'm being way too critical. <laughs> I'm being overly critical. It's just... I don't know. Could have been better. Judy Dench was fine in the movie. And again, I think the actors were fine. No one really gave like a bad performance per se. I just felt like they had a really bad script. I was a little distracted by Josh Gad at first. I saw it was Josh Gad immediately and all I could hear was like, <laughs> literally what I thought of was like Prison Mike from The Office, but like Prison Olaf. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olaf, and I'm doing time for murder. Like, that's, uh, this is pretty, a little distracting at first, but as his character developed, it was, it was better. Uh, there were some humorous moments, there were some entertaining moments even, but like, did I care about anything? No. Was there any stakes whatsoever? I knew there was gonna be a happy ending, like, from the beginning. They didn't give me the satisfaction of maybe there being, like, a not happy ending with this film. It was just, like, uh, there was just no threat from anybody anywhere. Yeah, it was just, just not executed very well. But again, I, is this all... Kenneth Branagh's and the filmmaker's part, or is just the story of Artemis Fowl to blame for a certain extent? Because like I said, a lot of the things within this story are just like, okay. I don't care! Whatever. I don't know. And perhaps there are certain details that this film left out because of whatever reason that the book explains more. Seems like they were planning to make more, kind of how the ending was. So I guess we'll see about that. But like I said, there are enjoyable moments. It's not all just like, 
terrible. But it was really, it was really predictable. I think maybe that's, maybe that was a lot of my problems with it. It was just like, okay. And the things that weren't predictable just felt like out in left field. Other thing too, that like troll thing really was bad. Like no one's hair moves like that. Why do they think the hair was just like, had its own, had like a mind of its own was just like, I don't know what was going on there. It looked really distracting. The whole time I was just like, what is with this dude's hair? What is going on? So yeah, I don't know. now I'm just nitpicking and being the type of critic that annoys me. I, I don't have many like solutions for this or even like, oh, well, if they had done this and this and this, honestly, it, we just, it's just a cash grab, y'all. It was a cash grab. Money, money, money. So we were left with cash grab quality. My score of the film, four out of 10. Aww. I don't know. I need to read the book. I'm not gonna, but I probably should. Thank you so much for watching this review. Artemis Fowl, what did you think about it? Perhaps you're like me. I was very just like weirded out by the film. I'd be curious too, actually, this is something I considered. Do you, do you have kids who watched this and enjoyed it? Perhaps this was just, perhaps I missed the fact that maybe they were kind of targeting a specific demographic. So there's that to consider as well. I don't know, just let me know your thoughts on the film. Maybe you liked it more than I did. So comments, let me know about that. I post movie reviews at least once a week. I try to, this week will probably be a little more than once a week. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any movies or reviews that I post. Also, while you're here, make sure to give this video a like, helps the channel out and I appreciate it for you doing that. Start a discussion with me in the comments about this movie, I'd love to get a discussion going with you. Thank you so much for watching, comment, like, subscribe, Bye-bye.